What's up everybody, this is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you get the information you need right up front, and if you want more, stick around for a step-by-step -step walkthrough. Today we're going to show you just how easy it is to add an image to a table on a SharePoint site page. Stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra, careful with my hands cause I gotta use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd, I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. All right, before we get too far, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you for your support. Now let's get that timer rolling. All right, first thing you're going to do is you're going to make sure you have a table, and we have another video on how to do that, so you can click there, check that out. Uh, but you're going to go into edit mode, just like we always do with these site pages, and you're going to go pick your cell, and you're going to say, you know what, let me click on this insert image button, and then you're going to pick an image, and you're going to say, okay, insert, and then ba-bam, it's in there. You can republish, and you just put an image in a cell, in a text box. I don't know why it's all kind of like not centered I don't really like that too much but you got it in there maybe we'll try that a little bit later on in this video see if we can get it centered all right so let's slow down a little bit and let's see what we got here let's see if we can oh woo, we did not need that okay um we're gonna edit and maybe we can like alignment align center align right oh why did the size change? What's up with that? Okay, hold on. Well, that's left. That's right. Center. Republish. Okay, there we go. So it made it smaller, but it got it where we wanted it to go. Um, let's try that again. And so we're going to show you how to delete it. And then we're going to walk you through step by step how we got it here and see what's going on with the spacing and alignment and all that happy stuff. So um, I'm just going to... I'm going to try it. Yeah, I just tap delete. I'm sure there's probably a better way to do that. Um, but yeah, delete works. And we're going to republish. So we're going to pretend that we have this blank table. And for whatever reason, we need to add in some images. So we're going to pop into edit mode. And we're going to select the cell where we want the image to go. We're going to click on insert image. And then we'll see recent images. We can go to like stock images we can search the webby webs um let's just go with one of these okay with the stock image and see i can see it is a little bit to the left you know i'm gonna go back to the other photo. i want to i want to see what happened with that other photo so we can re reproduce it um in the same way so here we go insert image and we'll grab the photo we'll insert Okay, we can see it looks like this in publish mode, a little bit to the left, or in draft, in edit mode. Now let's republish it, and we can see, okay, it is this size. Note the size. I swear when we started messing with it, it, uh, let me re refresh the browser. Let's see if that makes a difference. Okay, still weird size off to the left. Now let's go and edit, and when we started messing around with the alignment, it, like, changed up on us. So we're going to select the image choose the alignment we went left I think okay now we go left it gets smaller so yeah I'm sure there's someone out there that knows a lot more than me about why that actually happened but that's the experience that I got um, I'm curious to see if what happens with one of the stock photos okay so there we go um, we got that aligned so let's go ahead and edit again and we're gonna get rid of this image we're gonna go to a stock image and let's see if we get that same. I mean, maybe we're not even supposed to be doing this. Uh, there we go. Yeah, a little weird there. Maybe if I here, I'm gonna republish it and see what kind of experience we get. So yeah, it's in an odd way there. But if we edit and start playing along with playing around with the alignment, then we'll get it shrunk. It'll shrink. We can go center. We can republish it. So there you go. Uh, that's it plain and simple easy if you need to um tablify some images there you go hope this has been helpful thank you so much for your support please like share subscribe and remember at the end of the day do the best you can with what you got sharepoint rocks and so do you we'll see you next time y'all i'm a sharepoint expert play with data extra careful with my hands because i gotta use them forward yeah i'm a big old nerd 
I like maple syrup on my pancakes. 